welcome to csc guru in this session we are going to discuss the topic balanced binary search tree this comes under the algorithmic design technique transform and conquer in the previous session we have discussed about introduction to transform and conquer technique and the transform and conquer technique we are going to discuss is balanced binary search tree the balanced binary search tree is nothing but it is a binary search tree with balance factor so what do you mean by binary search tree we already know binary search tree is nothing but it consists of elements of orderable items that is one element per node and also all the elements in the left sub tree are smaller than the element in the root and all the elements in the right sub tree are greater than the element that is the main constraint here for example if we are considering in the sense this binary search tree is nothing but a binary tree that is binary tree is nothing but tree with root node with two children that constraint already we have to implement okay and binary search tree constraint is nothing but there should be one element per node that is only one value per node and all the elements in the left sub tree should be smaller than this root node and all the elements in the right sub tree should be greater than this root node okay for example root node if i am giving value is 65 in the sense all the elements less than 65 will occupy the left sub tree okay and all the elements greater than 65 will occupy the right sub tree for example here 65 in the sense here 52 is lesser than 65 this will occupy left and its left child if you are considering this child element should be less than this root element here this is a child node in the sense this should be less than this root element so 52 lesser in the sense maybe 45 this will occupy the left sub tree and right sub tree in the sense greater than 52 and less than 65 so greater than 52 55 will occupy the right sub tree okay so every node in binary search tree if you are considering in the sense the left sub tree element should be lesser than the root element and right sub tree element should be greater than the root element that is the main constraint okay so above 65 it is 70 less than 70 for example 66 it it will occupy left sub tree and 75 it will occupy right sub tree and here if you are considering less than 75 so less than 75 72 it will occupy left sub tree and 85 it will occupy right sub tree okay likewise in every node we have to implement this constraint that is the left sub tree should be a smaller element compared to the root element and right sub tree should be a greater element compared to the root element so this is nothing but binary search tree and what do you mean by balance factor in the sense the balance factor is nothing but the difference between the left sub tree that is the height of the left sub tree and height of the right sub tree the difference should not exceed 1 it may be 0 or 1 or minus 1 it should not exceed 1 okay that is nothing but balance factor so binary search tree with balance factor is nothing but balanced binary search tree so balanced search tree is nothing but it is a binary search tree with balance factor okay so here the condition is difference between the left and right sub tree of any node is not more than 1 okay it may be 0 or plus 1 or minus 1 not more than 1 if it satisfies this condition for any binary search tree in the sense that is nothing but balanced binary search tree even the left sub tree should be balanced right sub tree also should be balanced so in the given tree whatever the sub trees you are considering all the sub trees should be balanced left and right sub trees also and the balanced binary search tree is also called height balanced tree or height balanced search tree so for example if the root node is 50 40 and 62 and its left sub tree it is 30 and right sub tree is 44 in the sense so this is the given tree and how to apply balance factor in the sense the balance factor is nothing but the difference between the height of the left sub tree minus height of the right sub tree so here if you are considering height of the left sub tree is 1 2 1 2 minus 1 in the sense you will get it as plus 1 here and for this node if you are considering 1 minus 1 it is 
and for these nodes and all it is 0. Leaf nodes and all it is 0. Okay. So, here if you are considering the balance factor is 0 or plus 1. In this case, this binary search tree is a balanced one. So, it is a balanced binary search tree. For example, here if I am adding one more node, it is 20. Okay. So, here if you are considering the height of the left subtree is 1, 2, 3. 3 minus 1 in the sense, you will get it as plus 2. Okay. The balance factor for the root node is plus 2. And here if you are considering balance factor is 2 minus 1, plus 1 you will get it. And here the balance factor is 1 minus 0. So, here also you will get it as plus 1. Okay. And here it is 0, here it is 0. Okay. And here also it is 0. Okay. So, the balance factor if you are checking everywhere here in the sense, this is balanced, this is balanced, these two balanced, this is balanced. And here it is unbalanced. Okay. So, whenever during insertion, if the tree is represented as an unbalanced one in the sense, we have to convert it into a balanced one. Okay. That and all we will discuss later. How we will convert an unbalanced search tree into a balanced one. So, that actually we will discuss in AVL tree. Okay. So, for example, here if you are considering, this is unbalanced. Okay. But the conditions of a balanced binary search tree is the difference between the left and right subtree of any node, it should not be more than 1. It can be 0, plus 1 or minus 1. And even the left subtree, this is the left subtree, should be balanced. Right subtree also, it should be balanced. So, wherever you are applying the binary search tree with balance factor, in the sense, it should be a balanced one. Okay. That is the important concept here. And there are two approaches in balanced binary search tree. One is instance simplification and another one is representation change. And in instance simplification, we will discuss the concept self-balancing tree. So, what do you mean by self-balancing tree in the sense? An unbalanced binary search tree is transformed into a balanced one. Already we have discussed what is balanced binary search tree. Okay. So, self-balancing tree in the sense, whenever you are implementing insertion, that time the tree may represent it as an unbalanced one. In that case, we have to transform this unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one. So, under this concept, we are going to discuss two topics. One is AVL tree and another one is red black tree. And what do you mean by AVL tree in the sense? AVL tree is a balanced binary search tree or height balanced binary search tree in which here the left and right subtree height should differ not more than 1. As I already said, the difference between the height of the left subtree and height of the right subtree, it should be 0, plus 1 or minus 1. In that case, the tree will be considered as a balanced one. Suppose, if it is plus 2 or minus 2 or plus 3, minus 3, in any other case in the sense, the tree will be considered as an unbalanced one. So, what is AVL tree in the sense? It is a height balanced binary search tree in which the height of the left subtree and right subtree should not exceed 1. So, what do you mean by balance factor in the sense? Height of the left subtree minus height of the right subtree. What is the value you are getting? That is nothing but the balance factor. And if the tree is unbalanced, we need to apply rotation in AVL tree to convert it into a balanced one. Okay. And there are four types of rotations in AVL tree. One is left rotation, right rotation, left right rotation, right left rotation. These are all the four types of rotations we will implement whenever during insertion the tree is unbalanced. So, this AVL tree further we will discuss in detail with examples. Okay. So, this is all about AVL tree. And what do you mean by red black tree in the sense? This also comes under the category self-balancing tree. And also this comes under the category instant simplification. So, what do you mean by red black tree in the sense? It is a self-balancing binary search tree. And during insertions or deletions, it may affect the balance factor. So, to balance the height of the tree, we will use two colors. One is red color and black color. So, with the help of these two colors only, we will implement the balance factor. And the properties of red black tree is nothing but it should be a self-balancing binary search tree. And every node should be either red in color or black in color. See this example. Every node should be either red in color or black in color. 
and the root node should always be in black in color okay and the leaf nodes with no children that is the null leaf nodes if we are considering in the sense it should be always black in color so root node should be black in color all the leaf nodes should be black in color and if a node is red in color in the sense then both the children should be black okay but the main root node it should be black only and if you are considering the sub trees in the sub trees if the root node is red in color in the sense the children should be black in color okay and every path of the node from its dissonant nil node that is a leaf node should have a same number of black okay if you are considering this path or this path it should have a same number of black so these are all the important properties of red black trees so both avl tree and red black tree further we will discuss in detail with examples and how we are going to implement insertion and deletion and during insertion and deletion if it is a unbalanced one how we will convert it into a balanced one everything we will discuss in detail next up second technique is representation change technique and this representation change technique is nothing but transformation to a different representation of the same instance and here it will allow more than one element in a node of a search tree and here in representation change technique we are going to implement a search tree it is a search tree only but it is not a binary search tree okay because it will allow more than one node examples if you are considering in the sense 2 to 3 trees 2 3 4 trees and all these categories will come under important b trees okay and here we are going to discuss only 2 to 3 trees with example okay so what do you mean by 2 to 3 tree in the sense it is a special type of b tree with order 3 and every node here can be either a leaf node or a two node tree or a three node tree. So two node is nothing but root with one data element that is only one element and two children okay that is the left node less than the root right node greater than the root that is a two node tree and three node tree is nothing but root with two data that is two elements present in the root and three children. So left node is less than the root element right node is greater than the root element and the middle node value lies in between the two data at the root okay this is nothing but three node and two node for example if you are considering here in the sense if i am implementing 25 and 40 in the root so this root node if you are considering there are two data element here 25 and 40 and the left subtree if you are considering in the sense elements less than 25 will present as the left subtree so left subtree here i can place it it is 10 and 15 both is less than 25 and here this present as a left subtree and element less than 10 will occupy as a left subtree for example here i am including 8 and element greater than 15 that will occupy as a right subtree here i can include 20 also keep in mind whenever you are considering the less than element and greater than element it should be lesser than 25 because it will occupy completely left subtree okay so all the elements less than 25 will be as the left subtree and the middle element if you are considering in the sense element lies between 10 and 15 that will occupy as a middle element for example 12 i will make it okay and here also if you are considering the middle element in the sense it is 32 so 32 lies between 25 and 40 it is not less than 25 and it is not greater than 40 and element less than 32 for example if it is 30 in the sense okay that will occupy as a left subtree and element greater than 32 that is for example 35 that will occupy as a right subtree and all these three elements if you are considering in the sense it will lies in between 25 and 40 and its right subtree if you are considering in the sense element greater than 40 so 44 is greater it will occupy the right subtree and its left subtree it may be 41 and right subtree it may be 60 okay so element greater than 44 will occupy right subtree element less than 44 that is 41 for example here i have given that will occupy as a left subtree so here if you are considering in the sense this is a three node tree so what i mean by three node tree root with two data two elements will present in the root and three children that is nothing but a three node tree and here also this is three node okay and here this is two node that is root with one data element and two children and this is also two node 
okay this is the best example for 2 to 3 tree so here if you are considering it is a b tree with order 3 and every node can be either a leaf node like this or a two node tree or a three node tree all the combination it will be there two node in the sense root node with one data and two children and it should be a search tree so what i mean by search tree left node should be lesser than the root element right node should be greater than the root element and three node tree if you are considering in the sense root with two data elements left node is lesser than the root element there are two root element here okay left node should be lesser than this root element and right node should be greater than this root element middle node lies in between these two data element that is the root element okay that is nothing but three node three. now the concept is clear right two to three three okay so this is the best example so this comes under the category representation change so all these topics we are going to discuss in detail with example that is avl tree red black tree and two to three thank you for watching this video